Hi guys, welcome back to the Scrap Zone. I'm Julie. Welcome back to my 52 weeks project. We are starting the month of August and I'm going to be concentrating on this layout right here. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, but I picked this really nice paper pack, but the sunflowers and the greens and the browns really didn't go with this picture that I was trying to document. So I concentrated on one color. I concentrated on the sangria color and you know what? It worked out perfectly. I also did stamp my title using the August months of the year stamp set. And I told you this one was going to be perfect for pretty much any week this week. So I did that in sangria. I used my thin cut and by combining a whole bunch of different things, but using the same color, I think that this worked out quite nicely. I am going to bring back my background stamp and I'm going to stamp the back of my base page only because, as I mentioned, I didn't have, I guess, the right colors for what I was trying to document. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to um, stamp my background using second generation stamping. Now that is simply done by stamping off onto something else as you can see what I'm doing right here and then you go ahead and you stamp a second time so the color is not as vibrant. I didn't want it to be too dark so this worked out really really nicely. So I'm going to stamp my background and here you see that I've got a tiny little gap. I didn't really connect well on my third stamp and I thought oh I'm gonna have to start over and then I'm like wait a minute let me see when I start putting my papers down I think I can totally hide that so you'll see that in a minute I'm gonna keep on going I've said this before don't stop the minute you think you've done a mistake because as you do your pages you will see that sometimes you can hide the mistake or you can make it work with your page because when you see what's going on here in the background it's kind of messy it's not really organized but at the end you're not gonna know the difference i promise <laughs> so i'm going to um, add a little bit of distressing so you saw me taking most of the ink off and i just want to put a light distressing on the top edge now it's always good to go less is more. You can always add ink, but you can't take ink away. So here you see me going again. I'm removing most of it and I'm going to add a little bit more definition to that um, distressing on the edge of my page. And I think that it works out really nice. It really kind of completes that whole background. So let's add this bottom piece. I'm kind of creating a good little pocket with my glue because I know that I want to sneak this other piece inside and I want to give myself some wiggle room. So I'm going to add this right at the bottom and you'll see here that my little gap, I'm not sure if you can notice it, but I know I'm noticing it. I'm, you're not going to see it. I'm going to sneak that piece of pattern paper and it's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to know. So I decided to pull in a little bit of the espresso ink because those little dots in the pattern paper are actually espresso and uh, it kind of gave it again a little bit more definition on the cardstock and it didn't take away from the photo itself. So we did celebrate 21 years with, with this kid. <laughs> I guess it's not a kid anymore but uh, it was uh, celebrated nonetheless because last year we kind of skipped over a lot of birthday celebrations. I'm not sure about you guys. So I'm going to sneak that picture right here. And then I'm looking at my title. Now I think I'm going to move it at the bottom. If you look at the original sketch, you've got your title at the top and then you've got an embellishment cluster at the bottom. But if you look at your photos, in my particular photo, there's not much going on at the bottom. So I think I'm going to just move my title at the bottom. Now let's put that piece of pattern paper strategically to hide or to cover that gap that I did when I was doing the background stamping. And just like that, my background is perfect. You don't see that little gap. 
and I can place my photo exactly where I want and then I'm adding my title at the bottom. I did use here 3D foam tape and I am using the thin 3D foam tape. I'm going to cut off the extra from the back. I'm just going to flip that over and cut that off. I like kind of trimming them off. I think it looks good. It kind of gives it a whole different look. And I'm just showing you here that I've kind of just moved my title at the bottom. I don't need anything at the top. The picture is kind of speaking for itself. But I am going to add a little bit of journaling. So I did my journaling on my computer and I did a few um, journaling strips. I did cut them with my little Friskar trimmer here and I'm just going to add them right on this side of the page. So I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. So even though the paper collection that I selected was sunflowers, browns, green, and then my photo subject was rainbow color 21, <laughs> I managed to pick one color out of that paper pack and totally make it work for my photo. So we're going to sneak this into our album and just like that we are done with week number 31. I did add a few wooden hearts to complete this page and we're going to call it good. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, don't forget to take pictures and I will see you in the next video. Have yourself a fantastic day.